Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to the science of self-care. Today we're gonna be making a lazy person oat milk. I am feeling so lazy myself that I'm actually recording this voiceover from my bed. So if you're feeling lazy, this is perfect for you. And yes, it would be even more lazy to buy oat milk in the store. However, that is much more expensive and you're not gonna get those beneficial bacteria that you get from making this in your house and letting it sort of sit in your fridge for a few days. All you're gonna need for this oat milk is oats, water, and spices. I also like to add salt to mine because it just amps up the flavor. Another option is to add probiotics. And spices I add are cinnamon, pumpkin spice mixes with ginger and nutmeg and cardamom, or I'll add vanilla bean, cocoa powder. It's really whatever tickles your fancy. All you're gonna do is put a few tablespoons of oats per cup of water. The more oats you add, the richer and creamier it will be. And the fewer oats you add, obviously, will be more watery consistency. Just play around and see what you like. You're gonna soak this overnight, and soaking the oats actually makes the oats more digestible to our body and reduces the natural phytic acid that's found in oats and other grains. And so our body can get more nutrients from the oats and it also just tastes very delicious and doughy. I love the taste of soaked oats. Soaked oats also contain resistant starches, which are starches that we can't readily digest, but they make it all the way down to our colon and they feed our microbiome. And everyone knows I am obsessed with feeding your microbiome because it's such a key component to overall health. Here I already have some overnight oats that I've soaked. As you can see, the oats are sort of clumped at the bottom, but that's not an issue because we're just gonna blend this bad boy up. I have a really crappy blender, so mine remains quite grainy, but I don't really mind and I'm lazy, so I drink it like this, but if you're feeling a little bit less lazy, you can also take a fine mesh strainer that's often used for straining nut milks, and you can run your oat milk through the strainer. That is far too much work for me, and it also gets rid of some of the fiber that I wanna keep in my oat milk, so I'd rather just have a grainy, chunky oat milk than a, a very fine one. Once it's blended, it's ready. It's ready to be added to coffee, to smoothies, to anything you would use a milk or plant-based milk for is so delicious and has a very doughy flavor. This actually has inspired my peanut butter and jelly smoothie which I've been making with a base of oat milk, add in some spinach which you don't taste, a big heaping spoonful of peanut butter, and then either frozen grapes or frozen strawberries for that jelly effect. I always make sure to add some sort of protein to the mix as well and my goodness, it is a delicious health bomb. If you're really lazy and know you're gonna add this oat milk to a smoothie, you don't even have to blend it. It's so healthy, it's so pure, and so delicious, and so cheap, so just, just try it. I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet lazy person recipe. Two thumbs up from my end, but I'm a little bit biased. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.